Hey guys, it's Carrie. So, first of all, yeah, I did get a haircut. But the thing that I actually want to talk about in this video... Well, it might be really old news for some of you, but then I realized it was only talked about on Twitter, and others of you might only get your news through YouTube, so I want to let you YouTubers know what's been happening. So for context, do you remember this video I made last summer talking about Cartoon Crave Awards? Let me play a clip. Somebody nominated our show, Battle for BFDI, for one of Cartoon Crave Awards' categories, which is Best Web Series. And I feel like that's... Yeah, so that's what happened back in August. It was totally out of the blue, but I was very flattered. And like, I don't know who nominated us, but you know, I'm grateful they did. And by the way, I tried to lip sync that clip with my lips, but I didn't do a good job. Anyway, the news that happened on Twitter was as of Jan like late January, so about a month ago, Cartoon Crave posted the results from the 2021 voting for Outstanding Web Series, and what you can see on the screen, oh my god, the winner for Outstanding Web Series is... dot dot dot! What is it gonna be? Well, I, I'm assuming most of you can read, but if you can't read, <laughs> I'll just read it out loud. Battle... for... Dream... Island! That's us! Oh my god! We did it! Oh my god, this is just amazing. I didn't expect to win, obviously, but it was really cool because, you know, on Twitter, people can already like talk about their thoughts about it even before I'm aware. So I guess it took me about a day and a half to actually hear about this somehow, but like people were already, oh, never mind. <laughs> Wait, this is so interesting. Okay, so when I'm logged in on Twitter, when I saw this announcement, most of the top replies were like people I know from the OSC saying like, let's go, we did it, BFDI, like voters pulled through and all that. But right now I'm on incognito mode again. And like because of the Twitter algorithm, now it doesn't know which replies to put at the top. So I, I see that people are saying like, no one has heard of this, LOL. I think it's funny. It just shows that like, don't judge things you haven't heard of because it just means you're not aware of that part of the internet. But I think it, it was just cool just seeing everyone celebrating. Yeah, like... <laughs> It had to climb 148 stories to witness this historic W boss man. So it was just cool to see the OSC come together and celebrate that. So I decided to quote retweet it, I think that's what it's called, with a photo and, a, and like a short tweet saying like, thank you for this award. And like I set all these props up and there's there's two plushies in, this, in, the, in the screen, right? And of course, the Cartoon Crave Awards isn't actually in a physical venue building where you actually go and receive your award. It's only an online thing. So I don't know if this is like trying too hard, but I just took one of these trophies that we won in high school for a robotics competition. And I just taped this paper cutout that says Cartoon Crave Awards just to look like there was a trophy. But it is pretty try hard, I will admit that. But you know, I just wanted the photo to look a little more substantial than just me like staring at the screen saying like, thank you. I am just blown away. Thank you so much everyone who came through and voted because I know like a lot of you probably heard about Cartoon Crave because we made videos about it. So like when we ask you to vote, a lot of you did. And if it weren't for that, we wouldn't have won. So I just feel like you guys really got our back and I'm just, I feel so blessed. But the other thing I wanted to talk about is these awards. It's it's interesting to me because like when I was in high school, they mattered so much, right? Like we would go to these daily competitions that would last like 12 hours. We'd be there from like 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. We'd be competing with like 20 other teams across the state just to win an award called the 2013 to 14 Play Space Qualifying Tournament Think Award. And I remember the Think Award wasn't like the grand award, like the person who actually won the tournament just got first place. But if you didn't get first, second, or third, or something like that, you were eligible for these kind of congratulations you tried awards. Okay, that's not what it really means. But I think the Think Award means that you use some technique that wasn't conventional. Because um, Think, you know, means something intellectual and not maybe the best performance. So it, it shows that you thought. And then this is Winning Alliance, which also means... So I, I've... Too. I don't know why I brought out both of them because I, I didn't put both of them in the, in the image. The winning alliance one means that you got eliminated from the competition. <laughs> oh, this sounds so embarrassing. It's not, it really isn't. To get this award, you had to be eliminated from the competition. And then when it comes down to the final two teams, one of those two teams gets to pick like a sidekick from the eliminated pool who will help them in the final one or 2v2 battle. And I guess in this case, I actually don't even remember because it was so long ago now. 
we got eliminated, but then the winners picked us, and then we helped them win. Or maybe they would have won with our help, but I just think it's funny. Okay, that's a lot of talk about stuff that happened in high school, but back on the topic of Cartoon Crave Awards, I think this is cool because it kind of adds to the history or track record of the OSC pulling through, because in 2016, we won the Battle of the Fantasy Foods, and then like five years later, now Cartoon Crave. So, you know, we know how to vote, it's our thing. And I do have these plushies to celebrate. Yay! Well, I mean, I always have them, so it's not like they only came to celebrate, they're just always here. But you know, X is the only plush we've made so far of a character that I, Carrie Huang, actually voice! Because I, Carrie, do not voice four, and I definitely don't voice fiery. So it's kind of nice that I finally can hold a plush and jiggle around speaking in my voice and not try to impersonate someone who I can't speak at all. Like, I, I just can't do a fiery impression. That was so bad. Um, This was my tweet. We have it here, and I wanted to try to get four. Is this going to work? If I do, like, this, and I hold it just right, it looks like the original photo. And then I move it away, boom. It's like nothing changed at all. That's pretty fun. Yeah, there's just a lot of people saying, congratulations to the Jack and Jellyfy team, totally deserved. Thank you, I am Bella B, I appreciate it. LOL, don't look behind. I don't know what that means. Absolutely bonkers, says Vinny Chung. Congrats, Carrie, and the rest of the team at Jack and Jellyfy. Thanks, Vinny. Yeah, I, I did re reply to this one as well. Um, it was totally bonkers, I agree. Just a lot of people saying congrats, and I just feel very nice because like, if I tweeted it saying, we won, and everyone was like, who asked? No one cares. That would have been sad. But I know you guys care. Oh, also, I, I should say a big thank you to the people at Cartoon Crave, because if it weren't for you, there would be nothing to vote on, and like, the award wouldn't happen. And I know that you had like, tons of categories. Like, you had more categories than I think there might even be at the Oscars or something? I could be wrong about that. But I know that because of that, you must have had so many, like, votes to count and, like, so many tweets to make that I just want to, like, congratulate you for pulling through and announcing the results for all of them. Because if you go to their Twitter, I, I guess it's a month old now, so it might be kind of hard to find. You can find the winners to all the other categories. That's obviously not just us. Yeah, January 24th is when everything was announced, I believe. Or maybe it was January 22nd. I saw Olivia the pig. You know how Peppa Pig is extremely popular? Oh, oh, they retweeted my tweet. I didn't even know that. Well, thank you for the retweet as well. Um, some people say that Peppa Pig is really popular and the phrase is Olivia walked so that Peppa Pig could run, which I think is funny. Okay, so I guess we're back to the winners. Oh my gosh, wait. I actually didn't know about this. So, so there was like an overall poll at the end, regardless of category, over what your favorite shows in general were. And I guess Battle for Jermaine got number two, which I still think is really cool because that means we were only behind the Owl House, which I know is like super popular. So, wait, <laughs> where this image? I think this is like a fan made image because I don't remember making this. I, I like the creative changes like I, I the circle mouth on remote is very creative and the woody eyes on eggy is very creative yeah oh yeah like i was like 99 percent sure that hell of a boss was gonna win because like this is one of my favorite shows and i guess we ranked above them but i, I don't want to like gloat so you know they should have been above us oh my god but yeah this is still just really cool to look at so the owl house won Outstanding series from Cartoon Crave. The winner for Outstanding Film is The Mitchells' vs. The Machines. I haven't seen that one. And the winner for Outstanding New Series is Invincible. And also the winner for Outstanding Adult Animated Series. Oh, I didn't know it was adult animated. Okay, then there's us. Yay! Oh, and then the winner for Outstanding Comedy Series is SpongeBob SquarePants. I mean, I, I feel like SpongeBob is the most iconic cartoon of a generation. And I just love how on YouTube now, there seems to be more analysis of Spongebob as if it's something you could write an English class essay about, or maybe like a dissertation in college. Like people talk about Squidwardian character trope. Yeah, but okay, I don't want to like, so Invincible won at least three, I guess. And Tom Kenny, voice actor for Spongebob. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go over all of them. Oh, I, okay, I'm not going to get into like the lingo. I don't want to start drama, but they technically got ratioed. I don't want to even like say that because, because like I don't want to hurt people's feelings, but Seven is more than six. And Liam Play says, but it's what half the kids who voted came here for. Kids aren't supposed to be here in the first place. You're gonna be shocked to hear who cartoons are often targeted for then. Yeah. Thank you for voting. We did it. Yay. Okay, I'm gonna end the video.